Let's talk about semi-truck driving. Did you know women only make up 6.6% of the gender composition for truck drivers? That's only 235,000 of the 3.5 million truckers on the road. With reasons to enter this job industry, such as no gender pay gap, employee benefits like health insurance, and being one of the highest paying jobs one can qualify for without a high school degree, what is stopping more women from being truckers? The problem here isn't retaining more women to stay in this workforce, it's getting them to join in the first place. Currently, only men have the advantage of being able to go through the job process from the initial job application to becoming a trucker veteran. On the other hand, women have so many pain points within the first few phases of the job process, only the ones who desperately want the job end up making it through. Within these initial stages, the pain points women are faced with fall under three main categories unconscious bias within job descriptions, unsupportive and isolating training center environments, and overall training costs. Studies have found that on average, women only apply to a job if they meet over 90% of the qualifications versus 60% for men. So the male gender language prevalent in trucker job descriptions impact the willingness of females to apply and perpetuate gender inequality and division in the workplace. Women in Trucking Association reported, many female recruits who had signed up for training at a trucking school and were told they would have lodging during their stay were faced with being assigned to sleep in a bunkhouse type environment with male students. Lastly, truck driving training schools can charge a flat fee from $3,000 to $7,000 for their entire program. It's time to broach the subject and reform this industry's process. That's where 18 Wheel and Women come in, a trucker recruiting and training center for only women interested in entry-level trucking jobs. Our training service is partnered with trucking carriers such as Southeastern Freight Lines and Swift Transportation. They pay for the training and licensing of these women and we feed these newly qualified and well-able truckers into those carriers to sign employee driver contracts. We begin with the initial touch point of job awareness to targeted women and continue our contact through the first 90 days of our women truckers on the job. Our plan is devised of four primary stages, the job recognition and awareness phase, the job recruitment and interest phase, the training and licensing phase, and lastly, the first 90 days of the job. The first and second stages of our plan involve creating trucking job applications that remove any subconscious gender bias that frequently deter women from continuing to apply and fulfill any job requirements to the listed job. The third stage involves the training and licensing requirements to obtain a Class A commercial driver's license. We pay women a minimum hourly wage to attend a six-week trucker course which meets Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and fulfills a professional truck driver institute certification of 44 hours behind the wheel and 104 hours of classroom learning. After this six-week period, we pay these trained women to take the exam for their CDL license. The final stage includes messaging touch points between the new women truckers on the road and their mentors and instructors from the training to ensure they feel acclimated and prepared for their new trucker role. Within these four phases, our services aim at consistently encouraging, supporting, and inspiring women to maintain a sustainable relationship with becoming and being a truck driver. No more will women be deterred by the social construction of gender bias. No more will women be ostracized from this job industry. But yes, more women will join and thrive in filling in these essential trucking jobs. If you'd be interested in learning more about 18 Wheel and Women, please email the link below. 18 Wheel and Women, our steering wheel sees no gender.